Seattle is firmly in the mix in the Western Division, one of four strong teams at the moment, and their captain, Harmeet Singh, is joining me today. Harmeet, uh, welcome to the Minor League Cricket Show. Thank you, Nate. How are you doing? I'm, I'm doing great. We had so much cricket this weekend. I'm still dissecting it all. Just um, so many games in Houston and so many games in Morrisville. It's been uh, really, really busy, but, but I'm kind of addicted to it right now, you know? <laughs> yeah, I think... Uh... To pull out like 40 games in Houston, and I don't know how many games in Morse will happen, but I think at least 30 odd games there. Uh, it was a great effort from the MLC backend team, and uh, I think, uh, yeah, like it's all it's all exciting. Like you know, last year how it was, and now like the bar has raised by a huge margin, and uh, and for cricketers, for teams, all, all the teams are upgraded. So I think cricket is really evolving really fast here. Yeah, yeah, I, th I think so too, and it's great to see. Uh, we had we had Justin from Minor League Cricket here uh, this last weekend, um, kind of run, you know, making sure everything went smoothly. Obviously, Josh Dascom was down with you guys in Houston uh, with Zubin uh, with uh, Zubin Zakari. So it was a uh, you know a lot of people really involved in this, trying to make sure it works. And, um, you know, tons of great games. We saw we saw Nikhil, Brian Walters on commentary a bunch of times down there in, in Houston. I enjoyed the premium content. Now, this year we have these premium games every weekend. And we had, like, like you said, we had games here. We had seven games in Morrisville. Uh, I did commentary for a couple of those. So I, it was just so much going on in all these great games here. I don't know if you, if you noticed, but we had – Friday night, we had a game won on the final ball of the game. Dane Pete uh, won the game uh, on the very last ball with the bat. Uh, yeah. Saturday night, we had a super over that Morrisville won. And then Sunday afternoon, there was uh, Philly, the team that Morrisville beat in the super over, was in another super over. And this time, <laughs> they came up ahead. They defended six runs in the super over, which is absolutely uh -huh. wild, uh, thanks to Liam Plunkett and thanks to the fielding from, from his team. Speaking of super overs, you guys were involved in, in a nail biter yourselves. Uh, talk a little bit about that. How how um, how exciting that was for you guys? Uh, it was great, actually. I think uh, we were we were playing on a belter of a track at Musa, and uh, it was a high scoring game, and very less margin for the bowlers. And uh, I think we were cruising, and then it rained a little bit uh, while we were batting, and we lost overs. We just had one wicket down at the 15th over mark. We could have made 200 there, but uh, but you know when it rains, you can't you can't complain. And we still got a 15 over game. They were chasing over 10 and over. And uh, yeah, like uh, we started out well with the wicket first ball, but but then after that, uh, you know they were they were they were very comfortable against fast bowling and. Uh, I think spinners got us back in the game again, but uh, uh, still, like at the end, they needed like sixty or four overs, and it, I, and we almost lost the game. They needed like three of two balls, and uh, and funny, our left arm pacer gave just two of two, and uh, and, and the catch from the one. How can I forget that? Amazing catch, and and that <laughs> yeah. was. That was exceptional. Yeah. I correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think Rohan bowled a ball that game. So, no, so you got it. Was well, it's yeah. tough in a 15 overs game. You know, you can understand this. And like yeah. you said, you noticed that they were having they were success having success against pace. So yeah. luckily, you've got Akalish on the team. Uh, yeah. Great acquisition this year, by the way. I was happy yeah. to see you guys pick him up. Um, I enjoyed watching him down in Atlanta last year quite a bit. Uh, he really gave the Morrisville team, a lot of trouble. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he added some depth to your spin attack for you, gave you that option. Um, and, and then Rohan doesn't bowl a ball in the game. He's fielding the whole game long and the most important play of the game comes right to him. And he, he doesn't, he doesn't <laughs> drop it. Yeah. He, he, he yeah, like, it. It was tough for the kid that game. And, uh, you know, uh, our, our strike bowler, strike fast bowler was going for runs. And then I, I was like, uh, thinking that whether I should get the under 90 kid on or go for spin. So I went for Rahul Singh, our, our other leg spinner. 
which which turned out to be a good ploy because he got Shyan and Nitish Kumar out and uh, got Big us back in. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, we dropped a catch, another catch of his bowling off Kamran, and then um, uh, then Kamran hit a couple of sixes after that, and then that really hurt us later in the game. But uh, but yeah, uh, speaking of the kid, Rowan, Rowan, like when you're not doing anything in the game, and then that last ball when it matters uh, to hold on your nerves and grab the catch, it, it was it was a big deal. And then after that, yeah, again. We were still bowling in the super over, uh, so I decided I'd bowl. I was the most economical that day, so I was like, uh, I have to take the lead. And then uh, Andres was uh, had had pulled his hammy or something, so he did not. He was not on the ground while fielding, and uh, and and I had to bat as well. So so <laughs> so, I, so I, uh, we were when we were chasing seven or eight. Uh, uh, so I decided I'll go to bed with Jamie, and um, yeah, like uh, it, it went well. Yeah, later, yes. Yeah, what a what a fantastic game! You know, this weekend was really a great look at your team, the depth of your team, all the different role players, different people stepping up at different times. You know, in a year or two, at the end of the season, when we're looking back at this season, we're looking at the Seattle Thunderbolts. Uh, season and we're looking at the highlights of the year no one's going to remember that Rohan Postanapali did not bowl a ball in the game people might remember it's going to be a side note but everyone's going to remember that he made that catch when you look back on this team and you look at three or four plays from the season that's going to be one of the ones you're always going to think about and so you know good for him he's a good kid uh, he's yeah. a good bowler. I thought it was a great move by you guys to pick him up. I thought you guys made so many excellent moves in the offseason, uh, bringing in these great role players into the team. And, um, you know, I know you had to feel <laughs> as a bowler, uh, and even though you've put up incredibly economical uh, stats right now, um, I know you had to feel, you know, you, you, you had to play on turf in, in Seattle last weekend, unfortunately, uh-huh. unfortunately. Um, and then you come to Musa and it's, and it's, you know, it's a flat track. It's like, it's like, you know, batting on a, on a runway there <laughs> that, you know, that you had to feel like, Oh man, when are we going to get a, a, a neutral pitch here? Right. You know? Yeah, I know. Cause uh, <laughs> we played the first two games on concrete and, uh, and then at Musa. So uh, like our, our management and, uh, you know, a couple of guys who are sort of, you can say fans of the game. Yeah, uh, started to sort of a little bit doubt our bowling and all of that. So uh, because we had three high scoring games and uh, which we won two out of it, but but still, you know, our, our bowlers were going for some runs and. Right. Uh, uh, but of course, the batting was clicking every game. So so right. so, so so it wasn't the case. Yes, uh, I think there were there were some errors with the ball, but you know. As you enter the season and you get a couple of really good flat tracks and you go for runs, your mind is all over. Some and not and and we had a couple of youngsters, you know, even Akhilesh is a youngster. Sure. You can always have a bad game here and there. So you gotta you gotta you, you gotta trust them, you gotta give them a run. So right. So I I I, I believed in all of these guys since the start. And right. I told our and also just just uh, go a little light on them because uh, you know, as soon as we come on Prairie View, uh, you will see more results, and you will see these guys are more into the picture, more, more, more into the game, and right. they will give us better results. Like as you saw, just after that, we we, we barely gave one twenty runs in both the games we played after that. And yeah, it was so true. On yeah. in in both games and against decently packed batting sides. So right. uh, so so it wasn't like. We're playing against weaker sides. We played against decently packed batting sides at Prairie View, and our bowlers gave gave nothing away. And uh, Shad's made a great comeback. Uh, then Akhilesh bowled a uh, couple of really good spells. Funny bowled a couple of really good spells. So right. everybody like chipped in. Rohan came came back after that rough first game for him. Like he, he bowled really well in the last two games, and I, that's what I wanted for him because he needed a little bit of cushion to get his mind right again after going for 28 in his first over of the minor league this oh, year. Absolutely. So, yeah. 
So and and I was on concrete. It can happen to anyone. So exactly so, right. So so Annie's a younger nine year kid. So that's why I was waiting uh, for for the right opportunity for him so that he can get a couple of really good overs in, and then from there his confidence can take over. Right, and and you know you have you, you have you've played so many difficult teams so far. You have a lot of difficult teams in your division. You know, yeah. then you go then you go to to Houston and you're playing people who play there at home, you know, and it's, 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 so it's, you know, it's really tricky and you added a lot of batting depth in the off season. That's to me was, a, was probably the biggest addition. Like, like right now we have Shadley um, even batting, you know, it, last year, Shadley's batting played a huge role in the team. Uh, he's a, we both know he's a very capable bowl, uh, but batter. Um, I, I have him ranked quite highly as far as uh, fast bowling all rounders in the country. I have him ranked right. extremely highly. Uh, but you haven't had to lean on him because you have new guys on the team. You have guys like uh, Adam and James and um, Rishi Bardwatch, another uh, acquisition this year. Uh, so these shrewd decisions in the offseason that bolstered your team in those roles where, where now you can, you know, it's kind of like it, it just looks like a really strong team to me. It's uh, it looks like you've got you've got a team that's capable of everybody step, stepping up. Uh, somebody new every time, you know, that sort of thing, the, the stuff that you look for in a good team. I think, I think if you see, uh, if you see our squad, uh, almost everybody who's played in their playing 11 in the first four games has had one really good game, at least, yeah. and, has, and has played a really crucial part in the team winning. So yeah. you could say, uh, you know, Andres is a couple of really good knocks and then, uh, right. Uh, then Rishi's one knock against East Bay uh, to get us through the line. And, and Rahul's had a yeah. couple, re- couple of really good knocks with the bat. Yep. I've had really good knocks with the bat and and a couple of really good spells. Uh, Shads have had, Shads has had really good spells with the ball, in the yeah. uh, with the new ball. And uh, Funny has given us really good, you know, uh, uh, death bowling. Uh, Akhilesh. At the at the top, everybody like you know. Even Rowan has had a couple of good games. Everybody's had Adam has had a couple of good games. Jamie has had one good game now. So everybody everybody has started to do well. So I, right. and that's what my goal is as a skipper that you know uh, create an environment where everybody is appreciating each other's performance and uh, and and we worked hard on picking the right guys because we knew. Uh, what sort of grounds we're playing this year? And uh, these are much more fair, fairer pitches, in my opinion, uh, from what we got last year. Last yeah. year we were playing at Morgan Hill, very tough pitches, fresh pitches, and it was almost going on uh, over the toss. And uh, and and then you know, this year we're playing away games in Houston and LA. Uh, so. Right. Like, trust doesn't matter that much. You know, if you play really good cricket, you will get the result. So, so yeah. So, yeah, I think that has played a really big role for us also this year. And uh, and if you see the combinations, like well, our management has worked really hard on getting uh, Adam and Jamie from Australia and UK. So, 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 so they, they're coming in here and adding so much value to the team different cultures there's a lot of diversity in the team we have a we have a sri lankan guy who's played 100 first class games dk he's given us a couple of really good games um, at musa and uh, one game at prairie view like he like you know you can't ask for more than that as right. experience with the team yeah yeah that's excellent um yeah and plus and then you with your cameos with the bat you know striking right now at over 230 uh, that's got to, you got to be feeling pretty confident yourself, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I worked, uh, I worked hard on my batting, but then I was always uh, uh, scoring runs, even back home, la- my last range of the season. Um, I scored a hundred, couple of good fifties uh, on tough green tracks, but, uh, but yeah, like here, you know, when I came over here this time around, uh, there were a lot of batters here, like even MLC assigned a lot of batters. So, Initially, I was not getting a lot of batting opportunities, but then, as and when, whenever I would get an opportunity, I would score runs here and there. But now, right. uh, now I'm starting to get more recognition with the bat over here. So, of course, I, I, 
I did give a lot of benefit of doubt because a new place, you have to find your own spot, make your own spot. And uh, uh, then, then of course, I also worked really hard in the off season about uh, with my batting and my fitness. I knew I was bowling well, but I wanted to add another skill so that you know uh, I make uh, I, I make a good, good package and uh, create that X factor in myself. And uh, you know. And, and I always believe in working on myself in some or the other other aspect of the game. So I think, and it is, uh, and it is showing. You know, since last uh, November or so, I've been doing really well with the bat since the since right. the national finals and all of that. And then, yes, yeah, you have. yeah, absolutely. Whenever I got an opportunity with the bat, try to contribute. And then now I feel confident after you know a couple of really good knocks uh, lower down the order where. Where the team needed it uh, and under pressure so so yeah uh yeah i think uh it is always good to add uh like to be able to contribute to the team right yeah you know we've seen dane pete this year with uh with morrisville raptors contributing with the bat and with the ball obviously yeah. recently um took one took a real good hard one off his finger uh hopefully it's not broken but he missed the game yesterday because of that but yeah, it's great to have kind of a, you know, your captain who, who can do a little bit of everything um, and do it really, really well when, when he needs to. That, that puts a lot of belief in the team, you know, so that's, that's very important to have a captain that produces in this league. If you ask me, you can't just have like a token captain, you know, you have to have somebody who's able to stand up and per right. per perform big. Right, right. Yeah, I, I, like, I think, you know, even Dane, uh, he's a very, really aggressive player. I, I, I also follow the same style. Yeah. I come from Mumbai. We we play a lot, very aggressive cricket back home, and uh, we play to win. So, I think it's not even about the ability sometimes to bat. It's about the grit. It's about uh, it's about uh, the mindset that how to get the runs in, mm -hmm. and yeah. how, how to build a partnership, and then slowly your confidence uh, goes up, and then uh, you know things follow. So right. so it's uh, more mental on the ground than even. Uh, whatever technical uh, sure. things you want. So, so I think uh, mentally, I've always been uh, really strong in terms of uh, you know playing the game. Where where under tough situation, it, it thri I, I thrive and uh, I want to be out there. I want the ball in my hand, or if I'm batting, I want to be batting out there and taking the team over the line. So, so I think that really helps if you have that sort of a mindset. And I think yeah. Uh, that is that is what I'm trying to build a culture in our team that you know even if it's an under 19 kid uh, just like the other day how Rowan helped us uh, um, you know everybody is the same in the team and everybody uh, everybody can be that hero on the day so right. so so it's with that 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 culture is very important to to bring in to your team I right feel. yeah and and you know the fundamentals are always very critical. You know, the fundamentals are always super important. We've seen games this week, weekend, where um, we saw a couple games at Morrisville where, you know, they, they were games were decided by the smallest margin. So that means a misfield that went for four runs, a, a, a bye that a keeper missed, you know, um, too many wides. You know, these yeah. things, you know, in, in these on turf, you, you don't get these you know, smash fest, typically you don't get these 200 run games. So, so, so the margin of error is smaller when you're in the one fifties and the one sixties and stuff like that, especially, yeah, some, somewhere between one, you know, one fifty or one sixty or less, every mistake you make is amplified. And um, so, so yeah, you know, I hear what you're saying about, about, um, and I agree, obviously I agree with you. I mean, you're, you, you're, you're you, <laughs> but um. No. You know, I mean, I agree with you what you're saying about about how like the mentality and the strategy and stuff. But if you can't do those fundamentals, forget about the strategy. If you can't if you can't do two things with one ball when you're batting, you can't move the field then and then get the ball you want and put the ball into the empty place. You know what I mean? So, so, yeah. Those, so yeah. So those basic fundamentals come to they come into play in my mind even more when you want to be really strategic, when you really want to, you know, basically control the game and could you know uh tactically you know right uh, it's absolutely very important to to be able to have that sort of a mindset where you're flexible as well uh, and uh you know i don't i don't go in where you know i think that okay 
this bowler will bowl at that time or this bowler will bowl at that time. In a T20 scenario, you have to be very flexible. Sure. And uh, um, yeah, I do have my power play options ready, but it's not that this over Shadley is going to bowl or this over Akhilesh is going to bowl. It's just we start off with that and then we go from there and I keep shuffling and I keep uh, keep my options ready and see the batter, see see what uh, what is needed at that time. And, uh, you know, then we keep then we keep rotating our bowlers and then our fifth bowler, we have three options for our fifth bowler. So how to get the fifth bowler out, when to get him out and, uh, you know, uh, all these things, which we still trying to find the right combination sometimes. But uh, I think the last two games have really helped us uh, to, to be able to have more options on the field. Sure, sure. Yeah, and, and you know, in some ways, uh, you know, I, I love test cricket. You know, I love the, the, the multi-day cricket. cricket. Um, I, and I, I, I love T20, obviously. But some ways, I think, you know, like you said, you have to be flexible. You have, have to be versatile in T20. You have to be able to to bowl in multiple situations. You have to be able to come in, bowl one over, sit down for the next six, seven overs, and then come back in again um, at, at the at the at the um, you know at, at the behest of the of the captain. You know the captain has to have he's playing a chess match. He has to be able to have all his pieces ready at every moment. And and uh, even even on the batting side, you know we have in in Test cricket we have pinch pinch hitters where you know obviously and you have. Night Watchmen and things like that, but in in test in C twenty you you you've got that too, you you yeah. just a little bit of a different in a little bit of a different way, you know you you have a guy who typically bats six and you and you only lost one wicket going into the sixteenth over you're gonna and that and that guy's your best guy from sixteen on, you're gonna right. you're gonna leapfrog everyone else and you're gonna stick them there, you know it's right. and you got to have a team that that, they, that that understands that and um. And that's why it's so crucial to have good role players so that you can do things like that, so that you, you have a guy for every situation. And that's why I, th- I like your team a lot this year. The depth that you've created, the role players you've created, gives you the opportunity to play right. the game to the situation. Right, yeah, definitely. Like, I think even with the bat, uh, we are quite flexible. And uh, I think Adam and me uh, 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 communicate really well um, with in terms of uh, – you know how how do you keep uh, the the black batting flexible? Uh, I think it's just the top three we we announce uh, when we are doing the playing eleven, and then from there we take it uh, uh, how it goes. And then if someone has two off spinners, how to send the right hander in? If someone has left arm spinner, leg spinner, when to send in a leg sp- uh, left hander, and uh, and so and so, and then we we keep. Uh, we keep that option ready for us. And, uh, you know, like the other day against East Bay Blazers, we lost an early wicket. And then uh, I think Andres got run out uh, the second wicket. And then um, Adam was supposed to go. And I, I was like, it's a big run chase, Adam. Let's let's save your wicket for a little bit later. So we sent Rahul Singh in and he played a blinder for us. And, uh, right. you know, he was still expressing, he was still, he was still uh, you know, Playing his his game the way he knew it, right? And, and and kudos to him, like you know, he expressed the way he would express in in a local league game, and right. uh, and, um, and and he made like fifty of twenty five, and yeah, got that his, was his half century, back. yeah, 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 got his right back in it, and then um, um, and then Adam followed, he did his role, then I followed, I finished the game where Shad's uh, Shad's to follow, so right. so I think uh, those kind of changes, you know. Uh, they, 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 they can only be done if you have the depth. So, sure. so the depth, I think the depth we have this year, uh, that's our, that's what that is why we are able to do what we are able to do for now. And, uh, and, and as, I, and as I said, whoever has been given the opportunity has taken it on. And it is so difficult for me and Adam to sit and select the 11 every game right now that, uh, <laughs> someone, Someone, uh, some deserving guy, or some uh, someone who is you know, you know really good has to sit out one game, and then we have to keep rotating or keep uh, you know maybe you know even for even if it's for one game like on a tough pitch or if you need if you need the DK so he he comes in does his job uh, and and the game he both the games he played 
we just lost one wicket in the whole game so uh so 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 it's tough to even drop him and right, um, yeah. and then uh, you can't say that you know you can't play off spin or anything just because you're a left hander because he's he's batting like he, he doesn't want to get out so <laughs> so <laughs> the last two uh, i think the first two games uh, adam did not even get to bat cuz uh, dk dk just batted through the game and won us the game so so, yeah. so it's just it's just that that you know uh, the depth is so depth is so much that uh, you know we have to we have to be able to keep everybody motivated and uh, i think this healthy competition is needed in or in most of the minor league teams so that you know everybody is uh, willing to work hard for that spot right uh, yeah it's it's the only person on your team who's batted in every game was andres and yeah. every, every nobody else has batted in more than 3 uh so that's 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 pretty amazing you know you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 you have seven guys who've scored at least what at least uh at least 55 runs so far this season you have 1 2 3 you have seven guys who scored at least 35 in an innings. That's that's really really great at this point in the season after the just the second week of the season. Uh, yeah. So you know that's you know you ha- the the difficult thing though. You play in the West. All three Bay Area teams, all of them are fantastic teams. Right. And and so you're it's it, in this division. You can't afford to make mistakes. You you just can't afford to slip up and lose a game. You can't. You have to beat the teams that you're supposed to beat, and then you gotta you gotta steal some games from the other guys too. You gotta you gotta beat the teams that that are you know the teams that got there last year. You have to beat them sometimes too. And uh, you know Silicon Valley does not look like they are slowing down at all. Golden State, the the talent on Golden State is immense. Um, East Bay, obviously, a very good team. Um, so w- which of those three teams were, I don't want to say worries you the most, cause I know you're not going to answer that one, but, uh, <laughs> right now, which of those three teams looks, uh, looks about the strongest to you. If you had to choose one, I think, uh, 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 it's just a little bit, you can say a little difficult of a choice. Uh, but, oh, but very difficult. What, yeah. What, what I would say is, uh, you can say Silicon has better batting and uh, uh, the Grizzlies have better all-rounders sort of play. So, so they come, that, those Grizzly guys, they, their batters can cover some bowling as well. So, uh, whereas uh, I would say, like if you do man-to-man, uh, Silicon, you can say their all-rounders are not, uh, like, they're not great in both the departments. You sure. can say they, they they're really good in one department, and the other one is just sort of a filler. Uh, but but I feel for us uh, this year the advantage is, uh, as I said, we're playing the strongest team at home, uh, and that is our home advantage. Right. And, and at least we know what we're play, getting into. Last yeah. year, <laughs> uh, last year we didn't know what we were getting into when we went to Bay Area. Right. It was very judge the pitch was so green and some yeah. pitches were. Uh, it was, looked like unplayable the first weekend, and then, uh, uh, and then this year, this year at least we played on concrete. It is what it is. So we were, we were smashing more sixes. I think would win. So, so, <laughs> so, so I think uh, uh, I think there is a high chance that we would play uh, Silicon Valley on turf as well. So if the weather stays good and. Uh, we are able to get the ground uh, because the turf is already laid, and uh, and we we still have sort of like a month to play play them, and uh, uh, like not not a month, I think three weeks. Three weeks we have to play them, and uh, I think if we if we get the pitch ready, we might play on turf, and uh, I think it is that is that is very important that you know uh, at least. We ha- we give ourselves the best chance, and even our even our even when we're playing away this year, those are fair pitches. It is if we lose, it is our mistake. It is not the pitch doing anything. So so I think it is all going to matter that how good cricket we play leading up to the season. And uh, uh, I think there is nothing to you know uh, even compare because it's it's a shorter format. You know, in Test cricket, you can say that you know you have a chance to come back. Even if you had one bad day on the field, 
yeah as a team if you if you don't if you don't click in the in the four hours of play you're gone so, so yeah no matter how good the team is um uh, you know if you don't click you don't click so uh, yeah and 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 when you're playing away you know which beria teams last year did not play that many away games yeah uh, when playing away it is a little difficult to adapt quickly like you know if you come yeah. in on friday saturday sunday and monday you're out so you b- before you know the field or, or know the place you're done so 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 sometimes it's really really tough uh you know when you go away like this time i was going to houston i exactly know how houston pitches play so right. so I, i could fill my team in i could at least most of our guys have played in houston so it's easier la we played a lot of times in la so we know how la pitches play and all of that now right. when they yeah they don't know what's going to play so <laughs> so, so, before, yeah. so it can also be the fact that you know by the time they know at least we win that one game so that right. that is that is very important that you know you get off to a good start as a home team so right we so push them on, uh, back to the walls you know they might not even able to recover the next game as well so so it, it is just that and uh, i think it is very important that we start really well when they come here Yeah that's that's one thing that Morrisville has to their advantage at Church Street Park. It's everyone yeah. who comes there might take them a day or so to get the hang of things yeah. whereas Morrisville's going to jump on you right away. You know, they right. they know the ground. So so it, it's funny cuz when they play teams here that that, that team might have scored 210 last weekend, now they're scoring 135. You know, it's 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 you know, it, it's, but that is definitely an advantage. But one last thing, we're running out of time, but one last thing Can you talk about the fan base in in Seattle? It looks like you guys are building up fans. When I I love watching your streams. Uh it, it, you know, I obviously, I mean, to be honest with you, I want to see a better broadcast from from Seattle. I think uh you know, more more cameras. Obviously, when we get to the turf, turf wicket, it's going to be better, but I still love watching the uh, all the fans gathering around behind yeah. watching uh under the under the shade of the trees it just looks like uh when i see the engagement online the fans are are there um it seems like an exciting community can you talk a little bit about that i think uh yeah like it is picking up so fast there yeah. even our academies everywhere like uh you know if, if you saw uh like as you said you know you need better streaming here yeah. but uh even with the streaming we had there were a lot of people behind the behind the ground scene i love that yeah i love and, that yeah <laughs> uh, last year we had like a lot of people turning up for a main event which we made uh with the soccer lashing and then i think that, that is why we did get uh sort of we are we are getting the major league team as well and uh right. and even the stadium is in the uh, in the pipeline and uh, i think there are a lot of things a lot of exciting things happening and right now as well you know like uh, it's like 70 degrees outside beautiful <laughs> weather to play cricket <laughs> nice bright sunshine like i i think it's the best summer when it's summer yeah uh, it's oh, the I best summer it. yeah so 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 i think once it is you know once it is like a big hub of cricket people would love to fly out and play yeah right? because it, the city is really beautiful uh people like people would love the summer here yeah. and 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 the and the fan base as you said you know like people people love uh, love the game especially there are a lot of indians out here a lot of a lot of a lot of the subcontinent population is here and uh, even like uh, you know a lot of uh, like at klahani where we were playing uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, local population which comes and watches the game and watches us right. play and all because we had a really exciting game there's uh this uh uh there's some 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 magazine uh reporter was covering our game as well he really loved the game uh uh, uh he was a white guy and like first time seeing the game and I was like and it was action packed game scoring 180 like we we were we we were chasing 180 and all that we chased it down he's like wow this is crazy like this is like proper skill and uh you know uh So, so so there is a lot of things picking up here and uh, even if you see our junior teams like from Seattle in the MLC junior championships there's so many so many talented cricketers here and uh, uh, the grassroots level is picking up really fast and so much so much talent coming out i see a lot of lot of a uh, lot of guys uh, 
especially last year. I think with spin we had uh, in in U13 and U13 and U17 we had the best bo- best bowler from Seattle last year and and, um, and even in the other categories these guys got like I don't know eight or nine individual awards in the MLC Junior Championship. I think. It is just exciting. Like when I see these guys, the talent they possess here, I think uh, it's just about pursuing the game and seeing 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 a career in cricket in the near right. future. Yeah, that's very important. Minor League Cricket posted a video of the Super Over from Morrisville the other day that ended in that fantastic catch by Rohan Fodke. First of all, he ran in from the boundary and caught that. This is at a this is a Church Street Park, a you know, regulation yeah. cricket ground. He he was started at the boundary, caught it five yards inside the circle, run it while running full speed. I don't know, you know how hard that is to do. Is yeah, especially it's a graded field, so he's running up a hill, up a high, up a slight hill, full speed ahead, catching it and to end the game. End of the game right there. Yeah, if he had he could have let it drop, it would have been two runs, and they would have needed. Uh, what would they, they would have needed nine off the last ball. Not likely, but why not just end the game right there? I, I, that's why I love that kid. Um, right. But, um, but yeah, so um, minor league posts that video, fantastic video. And then in the comments, you have 20 or so Seattle fans. Where's, where's content about the, uh, about the Seattle super over, you know? And, and I think that's, I think, honestly, I think that's pretty cool. You know, that, that they're, that they, they want to see their, their team, uh, they, they just had an exciting thing worth celebrating, you know, that they're happy about and they want to see that uh, they were celebrated by the rest of the league. I think that's excellent. And it makes me want to go visit Seattle. It makes me want to go see uh, your ground, see your team and be around the fans and, and just see what that experience is like. I, I love being here at Church Street Park. I, I, I couldn't pick anywhere else in the country I'd want to be for cricket right now. But I definitely want to visit. Seattle's on my very, very short list of places I want to go. I think you should. Yeah, like it, it is very exciting. Yeah? And uh, people are really passionate about the game. If you see uh, even the kids' parents, uh, all, all of them, like like whenever we're playing, uh, there are at least, like even if you're playing, you know, uh, MLC versus USA and me, Shadley and Andres are playing. Right. There are, all these guys are watching us every time. So right. every yeah. time we do good or bad, we do get a review every time. So, right. <laughs> uh, so that, that just says a lot that, you know, like no matter how busy they are, like, you know, they are like, they are like all these guys are tech people. They are all, they're all busy. They're all doing running businesses. They're all doing jobs uh, at big ID companies. So, so, so to find time to watch cricket is, you know, says, says a lot about their right. passion for the game. And uh, we, we, we always are like, we all of us, all three of us, always think that you know how 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 do they have time to watch our <laughs> game, which is like watched, you know, not 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 highly watched, you know, but but right. they, they always watch. And every time I open my phone after the game, there are, there are so <laughs> many. Whoever, whenever I do well, even if I don't do well, it, there are always messages that you know, oh, this happened in the game, that happened again. Like they they they're so keen to you know learn the game and watch whatever we are doing and and whenever we go back even the kids uh oh coach you did this in the, that game oh coach you got hit for a six from that guy <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so they all they all they all they all like you know are inquisitive and they all want to learn they all want to they are all up like like right now last year when i was coaching these kids uh they would practice twice a week and uh now they're practicing at least four to five times a week and uh, they are they're really putting in effort to become professional cricketers and they now they know that you know uh, what it takes to become a professional cricketer by what we we've, we've asked from out of them and right. they all are coming towards it even with their studies and all of that you know uh, uh, and schools and everything so they are they're all uh, adapting to it and they all know that how much effort the other guys out there in the country are putting in. Right. Well, well, they should fan the fans should know this. They need they should know that, you know, they, they love you guys. They love the stars of the team. The guys who were there last year, all you know, especially, you know, yourself, Andres, Shadley. But they should know that the rest of the country really 
really rates you guys extremely high also. So it's not just, you know, those of you fans watching from Seattle, it's not in your imagination. You do have some really, really good players in your, in your community. So, and uh, the rest of us really appreciate them as well. So, uh, but thank you for joining me. It's, it's awesome to, to talk to you. Uh, we, we talked a bit at the Houston challenge where you also batted quite well. And um, yeah, it, it, one of the cool things was we were, we were surveying all the players. Yeah. Who do you think is going to lead minor league and wickets this year? And your name came up probably more than anybody else's. Um, you know, I think maybe, maybe Justin Dill said Justin Dill or something like that, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, so, um, you know, keep it up, keep up the good work out there. I'm, we'll be watching for sure. Uh, I'm really, I really can't wait to see what happens in the West and the rest of the league as well. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Nate. Nice. Yeah. Nice chat. You too.